If you love me, keep my commandments. Or is it going to be a church that doesn't follow God? That wouldn't be very good, would it? Another thing that has happened is it's been announced in the United States and probably here too that the Pope will be visiting the United States in September. This is the first time the Pope has ever spoken before Congress with an idea to interject some ideas about bringing about unity between Protestants and Catholics. There is a huge movement within, within the world right now and many, many of my Christian friends who will probably be watching this believe that it's a wonderful thing that God is moving and is working but if you read the great controversy and you understand what is happening between Christ and Satan and God's people stuck in the middle you start to understand because some of the words in that book written 150 plus years ago are the exact words that came out of the Pope's mouth that he wants to reach across the abyss between the gap of Europe and America and unite. So I'm giving this information to you because I believe it is imperative that we are aware of how soon Jesus could come. It could be very soon. We have to be ready, right? We need to be ready now. Another thing, and this is the last thing that I will tell you about this. Some people might say this is a conspiracy. No, this is actually happening. In fact, one big company already has introduced the microchip put out by Motorola. And they're using it in over 1,000 uh, workers. And they're putting it in the right hand under the skin. Or it can go under the, the forehead right here by the hairline. And... Uh, it was shown on television, them injecting it and how it works and how the body charges the lithium battery by the different fluctuations of your temperature and how it has a GPS and how they showed it on the news, how they scan it to get in the door, time card check, how they buy their coffee by just scanning and how they go to church and it registers that they went to church. So if you read the Great Controversy, you start to understand, and I know many of our leaders here understand some of this stuff, that if we follow it, we are truly uh, living in a, in a prophetic time. Which is why, and I'm going to start a short health lecture, because I believe it's important to be healthy during these times. But I'm going to present to you some people say, should I be healthy or should I eat this way or do this because of my salvation, because I want to be in heaven? Well, that's between you and God. I, I believe that's important. Another thing is, should I do this just because of the physical realm and to be healthy? Well, that's important too. During the last days, um, the Bible in Matthew 25 and uh, we're told that there's going to be an increased amount of pestilence, diseases, right? Is there? One out of two in America now is being said to have uh, a chance of cancer. They're getting cancer. 50% of our country is now affected by cancer by the time they die. It used to be one out of 27 people. Well, I remember when it was one out of six and then one out of four and then one out of three and now uh, it's being noted on the news that half of the population of America by the time they die will have cancer in their body. That's pretty profound. People are dying because of the increased diseases. Not only lifestyle diseases, but infectious diseases. And did you know that one other news thing, our wonderful president has mandated in the United States vaccination. We have no freedom of choice in America with vaccination. We cannot sign a waiver anymore. So if he wants to inject a microchip, he can do it because 
We have no right. We cannot refuse it in the United States, just so you know that. I want to say this because a lot of people here would like to go to America, that it has all the answers. But I can tell you, Americans are losing respect for their country and their leaders, that it is not what it used to be. And it is certainly um, being, being uh, put in the headlines with the Adventist Church when it comes to prophecy. So today, regarding health, if we are going to face increased diseases, and the antibiotics aren't going to be working anymore because our bodies are building up resistance and the diseases are increasing, doesn't it make sense that we go into this time of trouble healthier to survive, to see Jesus come? Does that make sense? Does it make sense? Would you like to see Jesus come? If you die before Jesus comes and you're right with him, you're going to blink your eyes, you're going to wake up and see him, right? But I think it would be exciting to be in that class of people who, where 10,000 shall fall at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee, right? That we can have this, this edge, this super uh, ability to survive. And a lot of it comes to our choices. So I'm going to read something in Romans 14, verse, uh, starting with verse 1. So you understand that I'm not judging you, no matter what you do. Him that is weak in faith, receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. Don't dispute it. For one believeth that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not, not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth. For God hath received him. Right? So, God can receive people. And it's not our place to judge them what they eat. Right? So, I want to make that clear. That it's not, sometimes when it comes to diet and even lifestyle, there's a lot of uh, argument and a lot of people feel judged. Correct, Diba? God says that in 3 John 1, 2, He wants us to be healthy. That's His, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health. He wants us to be healthy. But why is his people dying? Why are we getting sick? Hosea 4, 6, he says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He calls them his people. They're his people. But they are destroyed. They die because of a lack of knowledge. So we have a responsibility before God to learn, to educate ourselves, right? It is our responsibility to educate ourselves. 2 Timothy 2.15 says, Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 3.16 says that all scripture, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, reproof, and instruction in righteousness. We learn from reading the Bible with regards to health in Genesis 1.29 that God created a diet for us. And he created us, and he created the diet. And the diet, in Genesis 1.29, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed. That means every fruit that is upon the face of the earth. This shall be your food, your meat, it says. Revelation 22.2 says that the leaves were for the healing of the nations. You see, when God says, this is for the healing of the nation, it's him saying, this is for the healing of the nation. It's no more complicated than that. And for me, I tend to say, wow, God is giving me this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this and see what happens. So in my lifetime, working in a, in a lifestyle center, I have seen so many people get well from using just plants and leaves. So I'm a big believer in that, and I know that it works. But I believe that it works because God is the one that heals, right? And 